Ben Hogan. That one, in my collection of the great gods of the world, uh, I've got about 300 as I consider drawn. But the name of Hogan, Tony Lever, Bobby Jones, Casper, uh, Varden, they were before my time and they were in America. So I did these from photographs. They're the only five or six out of the whole of my collection I've never met. I had them do them from photographs because they, by their record, they were the great of golf. He passed away only a couple of years ago. I wish I could have gone back to America, or got to America, but you got to, you know, it's an expensive exercise just to go and get a signature. And I'm sure that if I had taken that drawing to him, he would have signed it. Yeah, this is Bobby Jones. I remember as a boy saying, we used to hear about this wonderful golfer, Bobby Jones. And there's another one of Tony Lima. He got killed in an aircraft accident. He won the British Open. Here we have this. And by the way, I showed those drawings to Lee Trevino, you know, the funny Mexican golfer, American, well known in the golfing field of the world, and a great golfer. And before I could tell him the name, he said, don't tell me. He said, let me work out who they are. I'll, I'll let you know. He picked every one of my drawings, which was a credit to me, because then I know that I got a likeness. But he didn't pick the one. And he said, who is he? I said, don't you know who he is? He said, no, I don't know. Right? I said, that's Bobby Jones. I said, he's a better golfer than you'll ever be. Well, because I was able to joke like that, because I used to know him well. He said, yes, he was a great golfer, wasn't he? So uh, at least there was a man that knew a lot of these, but he didn't know Bobby Jones. Now this is young Bradley Spence. Aaron Spence, I'm sorry. Craig, Craig Spence, what I'm talking about, Craig. He, he beat uh, uh, North Greg Norman at, at the Masters by playing a, was it a two, four iron or whatever it was, to about two, two metres from the hole, and sank and beat Greg Norman by one stroke. By the way, Greg Norman, talking about Greg Norman, he's a mate of this young fellow here, that's Clinton, the President of America. And the story was that he was coming out to Australia for the President's Cup in Melbourne last year. But he didn't make it, and Bush came out instead, and they even said that uh, Carter was coming out, President Carter. So I just did a drawing, hoping that maybe that if he had to come out, I would have got his signature. But as he didn't make it, there's the drawing of my interpretation. I did something about Greg Norman, beware, the British Open winner. Mark Ambera gave me a lesson this last week. And I'm playing now four under par, and he said, well, you'll be probably playing, and Greg Norman's making a comment, Something as a specter saying, yes, you'll be probably playing number one in the team. Now Carter, he was coming out to Australia some years ago. My friend told me about it. He said, Tony, for God's sake, did see you do a drawing? So I did a drawing by watching TV. And he never came out, of course. And uh, I sent him the, the original drawing that I did to him. And downstairs on the, in, my, in my home, I've got a drawing of Carter as he was then. With it, and he put his signature on it and it was sent back to me from Australia. As a matter of fact, I've got three American presidents with their signatures on their drawings. Now, this is the man that came down, the President Bush, to Melbourne. And unfortunately, I didn't have enough thought. I should have taken this drawing down to Melbourne. And Jack Nichols would have got him, or I would have seen him, and got his signature on it. But that's the one of Bush. So there's three presidents there as golfers. They won't make the greater golf, but they're the only golfers. 